Question 13. The grid below is made of right angle triangles like this, and it's a 3, 4, 5 centimetre triangle. It says shade triangles on the grid to make a quadrilateral. Your quadrilateral must have an area of 24 and a perimeter of 26. So the first thing to do would be to work out the area of one triangle, and then we would know how many triangles we would need to shade. So, what is the area of one triangle? Well, the area of this rectangle would be length times width, L times W. And the length of it is 4, the width of it is 3, so the area of that rectangle is 4 times 3, which is 12 centimetres squared. However, the triangle is only half of this, so the area of the triangle would be half of this 12 centimetres squared. So the area of one triangle would be 6 centimetres squared. Now considering that we need to have a quadrilateral with an area of 24, this is going to mean we will need to shade in 4 triangles because 6, six centimetres squared times 4 is going to give us our 24 centimetres squared. So we need to shade four triangles. That's the first thing that we need to establish. Now the question is, where do we shade them? Well, we've got to keep one eye on this perimeter. So let's watch what happens if we shaded in these four to make a rectangle. Well, what measurements would we get? Well, the, these two distances here would be fours, fours across the top, and this distance would be 3. Now, what would the perimeter of this be? Well, 4, 4, 4, and 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19, plus 3 is 22. That's no good, because we want it to be 26. So we're going to have to go back to the drawing board. So it looks like drawing a rectangle is going to give us a distance, a perimeter of 22. So let's try drawing a parallelogram. Well, to draw a para parallelogram, we would need to do this. So, two across the bottom, two across the top. Now, we've already said that we need four triangles, and this is one, two, three, four. So, again, we need to try how long the perimeter is. Well, this distance is four. So these distances across the top are fours, and the slanted distance is this five here. So this is a five, and this is a five. Now let's have a look what we get. Well, the top and bottom sides, these two together make eight, these two together make another eight, so eight plus eight is 16. These two together make 10. So 16 plus 10 equals a perimeter of 26 centimeters which is exactly what we're trying to get so this seems to work remember a quick double check we said that the area of each triangle we already worked out that earlier it was six each one was worth six so this is worth six 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 and six four sixes gives us an area of 24 so that is correct and the perimeter we've just worked it out and added it up does indeed come to 26. So that is a valid answer for this question.